Beep beep, what is up ninjas? My name is Semrold and a lot of you guys have been asking me how to get your EDM vocals to pop out of the mix, not to be confused with All you ladies pop your pussy like this Shake your body, don't stop, don't miss All you ladies pop your Even though most EDM vocals are gonna be female vocals and who wouldn't wanna pop that pussy like <laughs> I can already see all the white knights leaving the video. Now in all honesty guys, if you're gonna be taking a class picture You're obviously not gonna stand right behind the tallest guy because then oh look you can't see yourself anymore But there's my head. What's up? Yeah, yeah. You're also not gonna stand next to the most handsome guy in class because oh well now look he pops out and I don't cuz I I'm not that attractive. It's as simple as that guys and in the EDM world, in the mixing world, in the production world we're gonna have things to combat this like EQing, compression, and volume, and reverb, and all amazing stuff guys. So I'm gonna be giving you guys some examples here and hopefully these help you understand how to get your vocals to pop out more. The first way to get vocals to pop out more guys is to just have common sense and not put stuff in front of the vocal. What that means is if you're gonna have a top line vocal, the chorus part, the catchy part of your vocal why in the hell are you gonna put a damn lead playing a fucking catchy melody in front of it as well While this might work in certain exceptions, a lot of the times, think about it. You want your vocal to pop out, that means you want your vocal to be the center of attention. So don't don't put a damn melody in, in front of the vocal. The second thing you can do to make your vocal stand out more is not sidechain the shit out of it, guys. A lot of people do this, and it's a big mistake thanks to this guy that started the whole trend. Whoa. Oh, shit, no one link in this video, man. the shit out of your vocals guys every time the girl sings that kick is gonna literally duck the crap out of her so she might be saying like something like i love you so you don't want to do that to the vocal do you like just come on like don't side chain it guys don't worry the kick will still sit nicely in the mix now this is something of, like old school that i guess a lot of people learned back in 2013 and i probably taught as well but right now you can easily just like get rid of the lows of the vocal and the kick will still pop through hell just have a little side chain like that, and it will be fine the third way to make your edm vocal pop out of the mix guys is stereo imaging now as you guys know hopefully you guys aren't this beginner-ish but if you are let me give you a quick rundown we have a mono signal and then we have a stereo signal which has a left and a right channel basic as that guys you can make stuff stand more on the sides of the mix or more in the center of the mix most of the time vocals are gonna be in the center of the mix now you can even take this even further to say we have the mono signal with 0 to 20,000 frequency and then the separate stereo signal from 0 to 20,000 frequency. We can say that, but I know some people are gonna be like, that's so wrong. Information you have given to me. Your statement is false, small amount. So the thing here, guys, is to be smart about stereo imaging. If you have your vocal in the center of the mix, which most of the time when someone records a vocal, it will be there because we use one motherfucking microphone. My taser mic. And you don't see many female vocalists with two mics right there singing to get a stereo vocal. So a lot of the times the vocals are gonna be set to mono, guys, and that's just the way it is. So in order to give the the vocal space you want to have the vocal either be in the mono and nothing in front of it that's in the same frequency or you can have another sound in the same frequency as the vocal but to the sides and then using tip number two and number one to make it pop out more The 
fourth way to have your EDM vocal pop out, guys, is to parallel compress the shit out of it. Now, no vocal wants to get parallel compressed, so you're literally gonna have to trick your vocal by making a return and telling the vocal, yeah, yeah, there's a massage parlor over there, they'll take good care of you. Once the vocal gets in there, it's gonna get squished to hell, and then you're gonna slowly bring the volume up to where you want it, and for a desired effect, literally, you're just making the vocal sound louder. Uh, mixing engineers will say, oh, you're, you're mixing a, a non-processed, non-compressed vocal with, with a super compressed vocal to get the best of both worlds and then you mix it together now you want to go for a very subtle effect and you don't want to clip the crap out of that vocal but it should sound something like this way to give your vocal more presence make it pop out it's gonna be guys to just boost the damn high ends that's what everyone is doing and that's what most tutorials on youtube are gonna tell you to do and that's to boost or aka give it air some people like to be smart that way but i'm just gonna say boost the shit out of the high ends that's literally all i have to tell you and your vocal will definitely pop out but again use with caution and like in this video guys everything is gonna be different with any different kind of vocal but these are some ways to get your vocals to pop out more in the mix you're gonna solo it with your kick then you bring it up when you can barely hear the kick then that's the perfect spot and then you're gonna do all this with your other sounds all right guys and that's gonna be the end of the video to get your vocals to pop out of the mix more just like in real life if you wanna Yo, pussy like well then you can't expect to have a girlfriend and just treat her like shit and then get other girls in front of her and let her know about it you gotta do it behind your back so that way equally give them attention and now you have two girlfriends Yo, pussy like. <laughs> and all jokes aside guys hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully it's educational and a bit entertaining to watch and i'll see you guys next time if you like my style of videos make sure to subscribe hit the like button and let me know what you want to learn in upcoming videos and i'll try and get those ready for you guys with that being said if you want to support your boy we got evil sounds right there which is all my work guys and i promise that every every time you buy something from there all the funds go to me so i can improve my videos buy more synthesizers and pay more fucking taxes jesus christ peace out